Welcome to What's New with AWS. I'm Jeff Barr, and I've got three great launches to share with you today. First up, the first two Wavelength zones are now open. There's one in Boston, another one in San Francisco. Both of them are in Verizon facilities and on their 5G network. So what's Wavelength? We've partnered with several 5G providers to embed AWS hardware and software in their data centers so you can build and deliver apps that benefit from ultra low latency. This includes gaming, media processing, e-commerce, social media, and machine learning inference with a lot of room for innovative thinking. Great news, all that you know about AWS and EC2 still applies. After you have access to Wavelength, you can launch your first instance in minutes. You can use the console, the CLI, APIs, or CloudFormation. Let's go through the main steps. You start by identifying a VPC and a security group. You create a subnet for the Wavelength zone. You add a route table to the subnet. Then you create a carrier gateway, and this communicates with the telecom facility. You allocate a carrier IP address. You associate it with a network interface. You launch the EC2 instance using that interface, and then you optionally create and attach EBS volumes. That's all there is to it. So just a couple of things to keep in mind. The instance is accessible from the provider's network in the given geographic area per their 5G coverage map. We support two sizes of T3, one size each of R5 and G4 instances. And you can also use other AWS services, including ECS, EKS, and auto scaling. We've got more zones in the works in the US and around the world. You can read my blog post to learn a whole lot more. Amazon Guard Duty is an intelligent threat detection service. It looks for malicious activity and also unauthorized behavior and it protects your AWS accounts, your workloads, and this is the new part, data stored in S3. So GuardDuty looks at S3 data access events and also S3 configuration info, looking for suspicious activities. Things like requests from an unusual geolocation, disabling of preventative controls, and also API call patterns that might be attempts to look for misconfigured bucket permissions. Behind the scenes, GuardDuty uses anomaly detection, machine learning, and threat intelligence. When threats are detected, security findings are reported in the console and also to Amazon EventBridge. The new S3 protection is enabled by default if you become a new Guard Duty user. If you're already using it, you can enable it with a click. If you're using AWS organizations, you can enable S3 protection for all accounts in the org again with a click, with the option to include newly created accounts as well. Great news is a 30-day free trial for this new feature, and you can use it in all regions where Guard Duty is available. Late last month, for example, we added Cape Town and Milan to the regions list for guard duty. To learn more, you can read Danilo's post. And finally, some news for Amazon Transcribe users. As you might know, this service makes it easy for you to add speech-to-text capabilities to your applications. You feed it some audio, either streamed or batch, and it replies with a transcript that includes punctuation, formatting, and speaker identification. You also have options to redact PII and to remove words that are not suitable for your audience. So today's news, you can now use custom language models to build a custom speech engine that is tailored for your use case. That could be law, finance, hospitality, insurance, and so forth. You simply upload your training data set, which is some representative text. You train the custom model, then you use the model to run your transcription jobs. This feature is available for US English text and for batch transcription. To learn more, you could read the what's new, or even better, try it for yourself in the AWS console. So that's it for this time around. Thank you so much for watching. We always love your feedback and look forward to it. Send us an email, send me a tweet, leave us a comment. To see more videos just like this, subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications. Thank you so much for watching and we shall see you again soon.